being 5-3 on Monday night, uh, December 20th, I'd like to call the this meeting to order. Mr. Andy Fitch from Mr. Bob Lutano. Okay. Ms. Ann Barney. Mm-hmm. Mr. Silly. Yeah. Mr. Mm-hmm. Badger is also here. Okay. Yes, Mr. Lutano. Before we start the meeting, I'm going to absolutely go in the moment of silence for us. Yes. So we are going to do a great aspect to the tomorrow, and we will be slowly missed. So we can do that. We can do that. the minutes on December 6th. And so no errors that need to be corrected. <laughs> 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 All in favor of accepting the minutes as presented? Aye. Aye. Any, any opposition? There is none. Motion passes. New business made with the trustees of the trust fund quarterly and final report. Oh, the final report for the year. Thank you. 
everywhere things were invested in the olden days, so to speak, uh, which included the gas, Wells Fargo, and, um, oh, I think I don't know all the players because I'm going to find them, but it's going to be very loving. But anyway, um, they were in Fort Worth in three different types of meetings. These are three important events. And then we are looking at our things about points to see how it is something not be a massive thing to understand that that is a very good thing. Um, also, um, some of them are very low, particularly in the dog and scholar field. Uh, um, I'm going to have to have them to sit in their field. It's $1,577.61. It was invested such a good yes, that it was losing money on a monthly basis because of fees. When I got my name on it, I was able to put it in the past and stabilize it so we were going to move it. And it didn't even qualify for minimum investments at Vanguard, so basically in the CD, as it grows, it will be turned into a, a more um, a higher interest bearing investment, but it's the best we can do at the time because it's safe that it was in. Um, so the good news is that things are heading in a very positive direction. Uh, I like another part about having a Vanguard besides it, now it's all. You know, they're all like kind of trucks, and they're also investing according to city guidelines. And this is something junk bonds we found out, which is not according to the guidelines for us. But everything is very good. It's not for balance. It's just between stocks and bonds. When stocks are up, bonds are down. When stocks are down, bonds are up. So it keeps things nicely balanced. But you can also see that for the town of Ashland, we have total assets in the six trucks combined, 285000 so um, which is nice to see it overall. Now, with, I'd like to talk to, just briefly in my little presentation on, on what it means to maintain a corpus and not to free it. When you hear that you get a million dollars, you're like, wow, I need a million dollars. You know what said? I need a million dollars. Well, let's think about this for a moment. Um, a million dollars is a lot of money. I'm not going to be on that. Uh, but in order to preserve a corpus, in order to preserve an amount, an amount of money, so that you spend only the interest and in dividends on it, that amount of money stays, you know, just spend the interest and in dividends. You can only spend a little time because you only spend 3% of that a year. Now, some years, the, the market is going to be great, and it might earn 8%. Some years the market is going to be different, and it could be that you're going to be So, a rule of thumb in investments is that you spend only 3%, and that will cover your good years of age, but it will preserve your focus. And this has been a problem for these accounts that the police do. If you're paying three or four percent of your own fees, that's more than two, you're kind of eating by keeping yourself in the foot. And so, you have to be very careful in order to preserve them. So, if you've got a million dollars, and you spent 3% of that. That would be kind of pretty awesome. And then it qualifies for your family. So this might qualify for food stamps. So a million dollars is the time for burden. Unfortunately, it's not all that expensive. Now we have in the town of Ashley $285,000. We really, really made that in Um, But it is heading now in a very positive direction. I would like to really that things are down now um, in the beginning of the trustees of our funds invested in a, a sound manner, a balanced manner, in a, a, a place that's in sort of very low fees, but getting very good results for that. And it's things are moving in a positive direction and are earning money. And so I, I think that it's, it's, it's really a thing that we work for. We, we are high five, you know, in our business. And the to that, the next meeting is going to be a uh, week from tonight on the 27th. We will be signing some CRM checks. And we will be meeting on a quarterly basis. Once we get stuff out of legal, you know, we still have four stuff in legal that are going to be signed so and probably going to force some changes to the system. So we're going to be uh, sitting on the council. But anyway, I, I, I think I'm going to be talking before. Does anyone have any questions? Thank you.
Yeah, you can see what they are all for. Of 
accept you the what you just proposed. You say I, 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 Mr. Chairman, we have uh, reviewed the revenues for this year and have projected those revenues into next year, utilizing the tax rate setting process for 2021. Um, I'll remind the board that these are flowable. That is to say that as the year goes on, should an increase or a decrease in these revenues be projected or that be found to be fact. These revenues will be changed up until the date the tax rate is set. Um, that's one of the reasons the tax rate is down this year, because we've had some good revenues and it helps reduce the tax rate. So, this is a formal type of situation, and uh, with the board's permission, since this is not a uh, bad set and bad um, item. Um, was suggested the board adopt the default budget and see that the revenue budget is projected. Yes, that will be accepted. The default budget is $5,447,000. The revenue budget the revenue budget. I'm sorry, did I say that? I should say that. I'm sorry, correct. I'm sorry. I should say that. Five hundred five million four hundred forty seven thousand four hundred twenty one dollars of consolidated fund calls. Subject to change. Do I need a second? Do I need a second? Any further discussion? Hearing one. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? Say no. Motion carries. Now we have the approval of the overweight, oversized domestic load authorization for emergency mobile substation transport airports. I will not say that one. <laughs> if you do, you will probably get your tank all bundled up. Yeah. 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 Uh, this, this is something that was presented by Eversource. They have three mobile transformer substation units that uh, can be used in emergency situations. And they need authority from each of the towns that they service in order to transport them because they are overweight because of the school students. Um, realizing that we could, hopefully won't, uh, be in the need of these items. Uh, we have presented to you uh, a request that, in fact, you approve your request for an overweight and oversized load permit. Another one for Mr. Welch. Town clock. Mr. Chairman, I'm glad to report that we do have a town clock. Thank you for that. I have, uh, I have chatted with the uh, pastor of the church where the clock cases are located. Um, 
I think we discussed the fact that the original mechanisms were in storage with the public works department, so we are quite safe. Uh, they have a leak problem in the belfry, and uh, they are not prepared to fix it this coming year, so no work is going to be done in the belfry in the interior of the clock business. And in that respect, uh, the same question is the end of the year to see what they're planning for the next year. If it wants to start to work, uh, hopefully, uh, they will be able to find the money to stabilize the steeple. Alfred and uh, in the clock, and the clock will stay up there and continue to run. If not, then the faces would have to be removed and put someplace to set the people since they are original and antiques. They are not replaceable. They are not replaceable. They are replaceable. They are replaceable. You know, there's been some discussion around how people keep saying. Uh, we're just taking the clock out, taking the clock out of the middle, we're not taking the clock out. We're going to remove the faces if necessary. Right. Uh, and if, if what you said, we need to tell you. There's any danger that we're going to be damaged. We need to continue to monitor the situation. Yes, sir. And, and I did a long chat with the uh, pastor of the church, and uh, he was not willing to do anything with the steeple presentation because they don't have the funds to do it. When they do have the funds, they would like to repair it and not have to remove the steeple, but that's going to depend upon what actually is found in this particular area. And maybe the extensive work of the steeple has to be done. It's not exactly what we're seeing. Uh, if that be the case, then we have to make a decision on whether or not to do that until we were going to remove the steeple. If the steeple were to be removed, I'm told them that since the clock faces are our property, and the term mechanism of the is the from the clock and not our property. It's, it's, it's from at least from the antique standpoint. Um, we would remove the faces and save the clock. We put them with our existing antique the clock mechanism, which is in the clock. It's a good thing, right? You say the mechanism doesn't want to us? Well, it, it, we help put up there yeah. uh, by uh, the current day standard. Um, lead mechanism. Uh, we would probably be having to reconnect disconnect it, but uh, we have no need for it. So we would probably leave it in the state. It's, it's good to know that the town does not have the authority to spend any taxpayer money on the repairs of the state. So it's a reason why we can't come forward with that. I was a but I I did um, over the summer time, this is July first, twenty twenty one, I'm trying to email and find out. I had a clock of my own that so may have said about getting big prices of pictures of it. And I think oh, by the way, in my email. On another note, I think my understanding of the clock in the tower is that the community church tower and after that is church cannot be fixed. You can make that diagnosis. I'd like to know because I'm a trustee of trust fund. And he said the clock in the church was a few years ago, and someone made the system that is in it now, as Fred said, and he said it is not repairable. Thank you so much. So, I mean, I just tell you what I found out because I had said, you know, you can just go to the clock here, but you can print out the whole picture of my clock, but you know, it's right now. And then there is a CRF for $400. There's also a CRF for about 60 bucks in it. Connected to one of the two or something else. We've got a couple of CRFs. So, what kind of photograph? Yeah. They're earning interest. They're not costing the town any money. You know, I want to make that very clear. There's three things for lots of money. That's something we can do is we have to remove the papers. 
I suspect we could, but probably it's going to cost six billion or more than that. Yeah, and as far as you can see, I would have to trust the investments as our job is to go back and look and see when that CRM was established, what the word is on that CRM. I can't say it's going to be really in the face. I don't know what the word on the CRM is. At one time, that was $3,000. In the amount of the town clock. Yes, we are left. I mean, we used to put it in. Now it's just that I know where the $10,000 are. I know why we were in the $60 and left in the CRF. Mm-hmm. And you used it because you had gone to the town clock. Yes, we are left. We used to put it in. Was that in the CRF? Okay. Uh, if we encumbered funds, it should have been. So it should be a record. Yeah, there should be a record somewhere of the hell we used. Maybe even if we did one of those. Oh, what is the CRF? The CRF for the clock. Yeah, I have to go in the middle of the night. I think it's one time in four years or something. I have to go back and see what year that was and read what was on the ballot. That's what we go for. Go by as far as the end of the day. Thank you. Moving on, tax mass maintenance contract. Mr. Chairman, we have a contract here from our maintenance person who prepared the current tax mass. And I think you keep them up to date and perform the other services that the board provides to have. It's necessary for the board to sign that contract because you are, in fact, encouraging such things by like extension uh, because you have the assessment of the town. Uh, um, you have access to check into that, you have check into it, and then uh, it is contracted to accomplish the work of the board. So we are going to want to be at So we are going to be looking at $2,100 plus. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And just so everybody knows, it is required under RSA 3195 that the town should have done this back in 1980 or something or other than the legislature passed this law. Uh, we're finally getting to it in a new form. It had been previously done in an older form. And this was the updated form that the contract was found at the contract for to bring it up to current day standards. Do I hear a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the town tax map uh, maintenance. Second. Before we go on, Mr. Chairman, there are a couple of other things that we need to discuss. The town has received from the State of National Department of Transportation the funds to close out the sidewalk project. We have received a check for $348,368.88. Close out the project and reimburse the town for their non-share of the expenses of the state and the update charge. 
to the reading group and to get a poll. The work that was done and then we're going to do that work to be continued. It's always nice to have some money from the people who are going to be able to do that. Our illustrious office staff has queried all of our department heads with an email indicating to them that we need to have all our encumbrances at 12 from the 7th so we can be prepared for the board to review in January to determine whether or not encumbrances should be made for appropriations for things that have been previously ordered but not received so that we don't have to. A second request after the vote is the year from the 27th forward to the 31st, just to make sure it's completely okay. Um, and that we I received a message today from a uh, public works director who has been staying on top of repairs for the uh, covered bridge. And uh, the bridge is going to perform that service. We hope to do that starting either on the 2nd or 3rd of January. And then uh, that bridge will be closed for approximately three weeks for work to be done. And that may be elongated depending upon weather. It will be short in the time of They have a, uh, a contract to do the work and they are going to proceed to do that. So people just keep in mind the bridge is going to be closed in time to January. We have we are preparing a warrant for the town meeting. We have to review that. Miss types going back and forth and that we are trying to do it today, so that should be up to you fairly soon. So we need to get that to the budget control. We also need to set some dates. Since we have a five million dollar bond on the warrant, we need to pull the public hearing by statute on the other state previous day of the week. Um, and the last day that we can pull that is January 18th. Fortunately, you have a meeting on January 17th. So the ideal base, we won't have to have much to make to come in uh, to pull that hearing and with your permission and indulgence. It's going to go after the first thing of the meeting at 5 p.m. on the 17th. So we can carry out the statutory requirements and get that thing. Um, one of the things that, that I need to know, and I think you need to know, uh, and ask is when do you want to hold the delivery of things? Um, there are generally speaking between two dates, and I have to say first in some little file of this group. February 5th to February 12th. Um, both of those dates are. So you can call it any time in between there. Uh, I need to know from you as to what date you wish to hold it because that needs to be put in the warrant. Because it's how many of the warrants are. Section 1 and Section 2 is the other one. So this is the delivery description that you're doing. There are a couple of other things that need to be um, talked about. Warrant articles, of course, you have preliminarily approved those, and we will bring those back to you in written and final form. So we the town council. The town council would like to know if you would like to have a member of the staff present for town meeting. Including you probably would like to do that, and this has been indicating they would be very happy to be here. Um, people also need to know that the uh, the last date uh, to submit a petition warrant article to the board is January 11th. 
5 p.m. because that's when the office closes. Where, where somebody wants to ride around town and try to bring their office to let them, they can leave it to get it to the end of the Yes, maybe you won't be able to do it all night. Did I mention the phone? I'm not looking at the door. Okay. So, there is, there is more info in the club. Between the 5th and the 12th, there is a statutory date where you can pull the limited session. You want to do it on Saturday morning, you want to do it on Thursday night, you want to do it on Thursday night. Historically speaking, on a Saturday morning, or this morning, at a block to do, and the block is what I see in the previous one. My suggestion is you can start on January or February 5th, which is the first day, and there's no day for February 5th. That might be what you have to do if I put it on our birthday. Wow. I guess that's how it is. So the fifth, the fifth and tenth, the fifth and tenth. Should we say a snow day? Well, let me look up the statutory reference to how you postpone the weather discussion. I don't think that's an important purview. I think that's in the moderator's purview. By the the new legislation that was passed last year. We have a moderator? Yes, we do. We have a moderator in the first year and the two years. That's what we talked about last year on the West Coast. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure what that means. The moderator will be able to stay back in town and stay in the country. So, there are a couple of occasions for meetings when we have 100 to 100 lives on warrants and the moderator is probably out of mind. When you want to select what it means, schedule it in some way. Well, it would be the 8th, I think. February would be the 7th. It would be the 7th. Oh, yeah, Monday, the 7th. Yeah, that's right. 7th or the 21st. So, I would say that it would go to the 5th. That would be good. Because we have it on the 7th. Sure, that's what that is. Yes. I'm going to moderate the moderator to the river back in the room. I'm going to move the moderator to the earliest day to do the test. My suggestion would be you make it the earliest date, and if something needs to be moved, the moderator has to call that statute. The kind of the last thing I think I need to talk to you about is that we've had the war out before, and the sidewalk tractor that was put in by the public works department, and the current tractor definitely needs to be in place. Um, Unfortunately, the company that provides this does not have a link to purchase the purchase. And the agency that sells them for them does not have a link to purchase So that puts us back to a bond or a note. I suggest we introduce them for I don't want to make this a five year big loan kind of deal. It's going to cost a lot of extra money because bonds are not cheap. Um, but I bring that up now so that you can give me an education lesson and how do you think you should fund this? Last time we built one, one of the issues, Mr. Chairman, was that the what we have now fits this new machine. So we kind of need to buy this particular machine. So we can't go somewhere else and look for something different. But they don't have a whole new lease for a new purchase. But that's up between those two options. 
how much is it? How much is it? We're talking about the round figure is 168,000 dollars. The purpose of late purchase is twofold. One is the federal tax purpose, okay, the manufacturers in Canada. They're not going to share that. That's one of the reasons they're not offering a late purchase by purchasing in the United States. Uh, and their agency itself is not the manufacturers, but they think it's a good thing to have it either. So they have to get more than the money as well, uh, which will only increase our expenses. I don't want to increase our expense if we're going to buy this piece of equipment. We need to buy it for the least possible cost. Right. Uh, if somebody would give me $168,000, I'd be happy to buy it for them. Um, and in fact, we found nothing, but that's not the way the name of the game is. And, and I don't want to go out for a bond issue because we're going to have to be in the open market. And depending on what that is, for such a small sum, we can be paying for it. It depends on how the market is at the time we're going to do that. And that would be after 10 meetings. So if we were just to make a corporation, do we have funds available to make to do that? We have some limited funds available. We would have to complete most of the reserve funds for my own equipment. Which I don't want to really recommend you do. You've been spending a lot of time trying to put funds in that account, and you know, really don't want to be seen. I don't know if that's what I tell you. Not really. But I'll blow them, no. And that's part of the problem. You know, we're still looking at it, but I want to advise you that there's very limited scope and ability to do what we'd like to do, what we'd like to do, which is to win a war for the five years. Um, the advantage to these purchases is that should something catastrophic happen to the equipment, you can just cease the lease, not pay it. The manufacturer will pay it. We're, we're, we're making inquiries, but I want to appraise the board of this problem because we need to be well equipped. The war needs to be done soon. And, and you need to know that there is a problem here when we're trying to solve it. doesn't sound like we have a lot of options. Well, we're, we're trying to get the company to give us options, right? Um, I don't know what for that, but I, I, I did it. I just don't want to not warn you that we may not have it. Not bad news for them. In the old business world, how to do the old business? All of the good news <laughs> Good news. No, say you do it. We have lots of business, but I'm not going to call them up and all the time. Well, we haven't set, we haven't set the final uh, sum of war on that. Uh, we want to increase from 20 to 25,000. Uh, we'll do that if we have the board, because we will eventually have to come forward. Officially vote every ward out of the river. Uh, we haven't done that yet. You've given us a proceed to go ahead and prepare the war out of the war out of the uh, My thought process is that the chief is going to be in for 25. We put the 25 in. It's in the house. So we can amend it at the time we're approving the war. So we haven't officially approved anything. We've given it a go ahead and load it to prepare the war. We will have a counter vote when it comes time to have a lot of money. Moving on to what four items? Just figure this 
Thank you. 